Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at practicing molar volume calculations. Here we have the basic molar volume calculation. In this calculation you have molar volume which is equivalent to litres per mole. Your volume is measured in litres and moles is in mol. To calculate molar volume you do volume divided by moles. You can put this into a triangle if you prefer where you'll have volume on the top, molar volume, and moles on the bottom. Let's look at using this calculation. Here we have a reaction between calcium carbonate and sulfuric acid. What volume of carbon dioxide gas is produced when 0.1 grams of calcium carbonate is reacted with excess sulfuric acid? Assume a molar volume of 22.4 litres per mole. The first thing that we're going to do here is to calculate the number of moles of calcium carbonate because we have the mass for that. We'll start by working out the GFM of calcium carbonate. Which is 100. We can then calculate moles as mass divided by gram formula mass. We have 0 0.1 grams divided by 100 for the gram formula mass. This gives a number of moles as 0 0.001. Looking at the mole ratio, we have one mole of calcium carbonate will produce one mole of carbon dioxide. This means that our number of moles of carbon dioxide will be the same. And to calculate the volume, we're going to do number of moles times molar volume, which has been given in the question. So we'll have 0 0.001 times 22.4, which will give a volume of 0 0.0224, and that is in litres. If you wish, you can times by a thousand, and the question may ask for you to have this in centimetres cubed. And that would be 22.4 centimetres cubed. We can also use molar volume to compare directly the number of moles of substances in a balanced equation. If you had this equation here, you would say that one mole of methane reacts with two moles of oxygen to give you one mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water. If we now just concentrate on the gases, one mole of methane occupies the same volume as one mole of carbon dioxide and one mole of oxygen. Therefore, if we had 10 litres of methane, we would require 20 litres of oxygen and we would produce 10 litres of carbon dioxide. Whatever you have as your mole ratio, you can just use for your volumes. So if we were to have 200 centimetres cubed of methane, then we would require 400 centimetres cubed of oxygen and we would produce 200 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide. Here's another example. What is the total volume of gas present after the reaction of 200 centimetres cubed of methane with 500 centimetres cubed of oxygen? In this question, you have to consider what is in excess. So here we have a 1 to 2 ratio between the methane and the oxygen. If we start with our 200 centimetres cubed of methane, this would require 400 centimetres cubed of oxygen. We have 500 centimetres cubed, which means that we have 100 centimetres cubed excess oxygen, which will be present at the end. If we have a look now at the methane to the carbon dioxide, as that is the gaseous product, we have a 1 to 1 ratio. So if you have 200 centimetres cubed of methane, you'll produce 200 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide. The total volume of gas will be the product and the excess. So in this case, it would be 300 centimetres cubed. Pause the video now and try these questions.
pause the video now and try these questions. Pause the video now and try these questions. Pause the video now and try these questions. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you find it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on X at Miss Adams Chem, Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry and TikTok Miss Adams Chem. Bye for now!